recessive epistasis a recessive epistasis is such a epistasis in which a gene when it is in homozygous form can have the effect on the expression of other genes the example of the recessive epistasis is the petal color in a plant whose name is blue a uh, blue eyed mary plant in case of blue eyed uh, mary plant there are two different uh, enzymes which have a role in the production of the color in uh, in the types of this uh, plant uh, enzyme 1 that is produced by one gene uh, who is uh, the name of the gene is w here is enzyme 1 and here is enzyme 2 if both the enzymes they are in active form mean both the genes they are in active form then the color of this flower will be blue like here blue color will be prepared when precursor 1 is converted into precursor 2 and precursor 2 is ultimately converted into blue antho uh, anthocyanin so in the presence of anthocyanin the uh, color of the flower will be blue while if the enzyme 2 do not function then it mean the precursor 2 will not be converted into blue anthomycin then the color of the flower will be pink or magenta this is magenta precursor 1 will be converted into the precursor 2 where colorless uh, will be converted into ma magenta and magenta color will not be converted into blue anthocyanin while if enzyme 1 also do not works then the color of the flower will be white so the white flower they will have genotype uh, capital and recessive magenta will have m and m that is in recessive forms while in case of blue the gene 1 that is in dominant form and while the gene 2 is also in dominant form here we can also understand that how the colorless is converted into the magenta color or into the blue color if both the enzymes they are active then the product will be converted into magenta color or the pink color and it will be, it will be converted into the blue color so the uh, color of the flowers will be blue while if the enzyme 2 uh, uh, which is here if this enzyme is not active or it do not um, have a effect on the precursor 1 then the color of the flowers will be pink while if both the enzymes they are not active enzyme 1 is here and and enzyme 2 is here if they both do not work then the color of the flower will be white so we can see all the three colors if enzyme 1 and enzyme 2 they are functional the uh, color of the flowers will be blue if enzyme 1 uh, is functional but enzyme 2 is not functional then it will be pink in color or while if both the enzymes enzyme 1 and, and enzyme 2 both are not functional the color of the flowers will be white here is the second example of the recessive epistasis in this case there are four different genes gene 1 that is recessive red is present on one of the chromosome while two other genes which are responsible for the spread and the pattern within the pigeons these two genes they are present on one chromosome but there is a third gene which is responsible for the color in the pigeons here we can see that gene for the recessive color and a gene for spread pattern and gene color are controlled by separate genes so it mean there are four different genes one of the gene control the recessive red color second gene controls the spread third gene controls the pattern while the fourth gene controls the color these four genes are present on different chromosomes here it is also important to note that recessive red is epistatic to spread as well as pattern while spread is epistatic to the pattern so uh, uh, recessive red it is epistatic to the uh, uh, spread as well as to the color 
while spread is epistatic to the pattern so here are the uh, some pigeons in the pigeons we can see that if there is no recessive no recessive not recessive not recessive in these three types of the pigeons there is no recessive red so and as well as there is not spread not spread and not spread then we can see that there are different colors of the pigeons but if there is recessive red like in case of this pigeon here we can see that here is a recessive red which is this uh, a gene which is present on this chromosome if there is a recessive red then the color of the pigeon will be different from the other three pigeons if we take the same example in the lower row here we can see that there is not a recessive red there is only spread gene is present spread gene is present spread gene is present if there is spread gene present but there is not recessive the colors of the pigeon will be ash red blue and brown but if there is recessive red present then there can be any color of the pigeon so this is the second example where we can see that there is a gene uh, uh, recessive red gene if there is a recessive red gene in the homozygous form then it has effect on any of the either there is a dominant allele of any of the other uh, uh, genes like the spread gene a pattern gene and color gene so recessive red have epistatic effect on the other genes so recessive epistasis is epistasis in which a gene in a recessive form have effects that can be in the form of hiding or preventing the expression of the other genes 